To get notified every time I post a video or go live, hit that subscribe button and then click the bell icon next to it. Hey guys, Jeb here, and today I'm bringing you a Modern Warfare 2 nuke gameplay. I know it hasn't been a normal video uploaded to this channel in a bit. It's been mainly videos coming off of stream that I thought were cool or impressive that I just wanted to show off. But I figured I finally wanted to come around and make this because I played this last night. Last night, you saw a video from the stream of me using the Modern Warfare 2 chopper gunner on Nuke Town. And a lot of people were confused, how was that possible? If you've been watching around, looking for MW2 gameplay, every once in a while you might be coming across something called the IW4X mod for Modern Warfare 2 on PC. That is what I'm playing now. That's why you see me getting 5,000 points per kill. That's why in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you see the point values uh, for kills are so high. Is because I'm on PC, I'm in a server that a person has modified within a mod. And this is like linked in with Modern Warfare 2 through Steam, so it's no big deal at all. But I had quite a lot of fun in last night's stream. It was just fantastic. Because this is like what Modern Warfare 2 Remastered could be, right? The noob tubes don't exist. I think on all the servers that I played, they might just be straight up banned. I really wasn't running into Death Streak either, and when I ran into, like, say, Painkiller, it felt like it wasn't even activated. That it was just the symbol popping up. This is the Modern Warfare 2 that I wish we would have had back in the day, because this definitely would have taken as number one COD of all time, play-wise, the most fun. I know Modern Warfare 2, for a lot of people right now, is the most fun COD has ever been. And, like, I, I truly love me some Modern Warfare 2. And I'm considering, you know, streaming this more often, now that you don't have to deal with noob tubes, explosive spam really isn't a thing. It's like every lobby is, you know, 18 man. They even have the AK-74U as a gun. The M40A3 from COD4 is in this. Um, and then they have a lot of other maps that, you know, wasn't there but can also be added in, like a Jungle Crash or stuff like that. I've seen a lot of weird maps added in that you can play. It's almost as if we have, like, a, a COD Online, in a sense, where it's like a mishmash of many things. But this is fun. And if you would like to see more uh, gameplay and streams of this, leave me a comment down in the comment section below because I know for once, I'm definitely going to play it. Like, I'm down to try to go for uh, nukes on every map at this rate because they actually, I finally found a server that was alternating every map in the game. Uh, for the most part, when it came to this, uh, from my understanding, for people I've watched before, it's essentially Nuketown 24 Samuel Terminal 24-7, things like that. But then I found a actual server where they're doing all the maps. So maybe I'll do nuke on every map. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you want that as well. Because last time I did any on every map type of series was MW3. And I never technically finished because I never got the getaway Moab. That was the one map that failed me even out of all the face-off maps. I never got getaway. So this was fun. And like you can alter your FOV and everything like that. And keep in mind that yes, the server I'm playing in right now, you get 5,000 points per kill. But you don't get, like, unlocked. It's not like a JTAG Xbox, you know, people giving it to you, uh, to where you just have everything unlocked. Essentially, they do this. That way you can get to max level, just so that you can have all your guns and kill streaks unlocked, which I like. That's cool. I mean, I am already have my prestiges and stuff done on MW2 with all my camos. So when I'm coming over here, I just want to play and have my streaks and guns. And I think I played for an hour and a half, and I was up to, like, level 42. And I didn't even play in the server the entire time. Um, so I like that. I really, really like that. So, let me know what you think. We're going into the chopper gunner now, and I'm about to just completely lay waste to them. Because if you've ever played Mono for 2, or even like TDM or Domination on Skid Row, you know that once you get them in that back spawn, they don't leave, and it's just beautiful. Um, another thing that I want to point out is you probably can't see it in this gameplay, um, but when I was actually playing, it looks so beautiful. Like... It literally looks like what I would expect a Modern Warfare 2 remaster to look like. They do have the ability for lower end PCs where you can make it kind of look like COD 4, but it's still MW2. Uh, that way you can actually play it if your PC sucks. But on my screen when I was playing it compared to like playing it off my Xbox, it was a whole different ball game. Like on Xbox every so often I feel like it's pixelated, it's low quality, and then sometimes it messes with my eyes. But this was perfect. I, I was really happy with this. And maybe if y'all enjoy it, You'll get to see more of it. I'll be playing it more off screen, most likely. Um, because, as you know right now, 
my World War II is just, uh, it's a pain. Every once in a while I can have some fun, but for me it's a bit of a grind. And it's not as fun as I wish it could be. Which sucks because they're doing a lot of great things with the game now, adding stuff in, but still, still not fun. Also, little side note, when it comes to these games, most of the servers have it where if you drop a nuke it doesn't end the game. It's like a MOAB, so you can sit here and just drop multiple nukes back to back to back. I find that to be pretty cool. I don't know what y'all guys think. But like I said, if you want to see more of this, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Drop a like on the video, and I will see you next time. Peace out.